Christian. What happened? Where, where is Daddy? What happened? Your father is dead. Your father is dead. He left us. I'm selfish. Where is somebody? Hello. I don't know I'm going to tell Shadi that she cannot go to university. Sir Jimmy, everything will be okay. We can hardly feed. He left nothing. We have nothing. Shadi will understand. Just explain to her. Explain to all of them. She hasn't spoken to me since this happened. As if she blames me. Abba. No, now. Don't talk like that. She's just in shock. I'm in, sh I'm in shock too. I understand. But you know, this is her first experience with loss and grief. And people express theirs differently. I'm just overwhelmed. You're overwhelmed because we're grieving. It's normal. It's okay. Sister, it's okay. I know that an ugly thing has just happened. But all of us need to find a way to support each other. Psychologically. Emotionally. You know that I'll always be here for you. Always. Thank you. Do you remember Feisha, you're my friend? Yes. She told me that she was looking for someone. I should help her find a girl. So I'm thinking to come and help her look after her children. What are you saying? Hey, so um, I'm thinking that it's okay for you to send for Lashadi to go and stay there. I'm just telling you. Sister, do you have a better plan? Sister, she will pay her. If she pays her, she will save the money to use to take care of herself in university. Pay her fees in university. Maid, you want her to be a maid? Abba, don't look at it like that now. It's not better that she stays with somebody that we both know. Okay, Someone that we both know. Or do you have a better plan? Okay, because you don't have a job. You have no business. You have no inheritance. Kind of Nothing. Is this? What kind of life is this? For Lake can remain with you. What kind of life is this? God. Why you want to move up by your own law? This time is okay. Everything will be okay. What kind of life is this? Do not that man that came the last time, right? And then this is sister coming. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> so good to see you. So good to see you too. You look 
so good. Gosh, so do you. You look so good. I see your husband has been taking care of you. He should do. I mean, if he doesn't, who else will? <laughs> <laughs> I made something special for you guys. Oh, really? Yes. Um, oh. I did please show them their um, room. Ah, ah, immediately. <laughs> Thank you Welcome. so much. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it's so Thank good you to so see you. See you to see. Ah, I see your fine son. <laughs> Not yet, ma. How long will that take you? Have you gotten your lunch box? Ready, ma. Just useless. But I'm trying, ma. Do you just talk back at me? I'm sorry, ma. It's just that I'm not used to all this and I believe I'm learning fast. Don't you ever talk to me like that again. I'm sorry. Now carry all of this in and make sure you feel it selling you before you come back here. Useless girl. <laughs> no, 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 I feel like woo -woo. it's heavy. Hmm? How are you? <laughs> I'm fine. I believe I miss you so much. Uh, what you <laughs> I miss you too. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. How was your trip? Very long and tiring. <laughs> How are the children? They're good. Okay. Feels good to be home. <laughs> good evening, ma. Good evening, sir. Welcome, sir. She ain't gonna see any. Are you crazy? Why are you calling me name? What make up? Faye? Think of a show boy. If anything happens to that girl, I will not come to your rescue when they come for you. Am I What you did, Abby? No, what did I do, Ma? Haven't I told you that anytime you come back later, you should pass the back door? I'm sorry, Ma, I forgot. No, 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 How are you? Good evening, sir. Welcome, sir. Uh, thank Welcome. you. So I went out. Uh, I bought you these clothes. I just hope that they will be your yes, size. Sir. They will be my size, sir. Okay. <laughs> I well, love you, sir. Thank you very I'm, much, I'm sir. I'm glad you oh, love thank them. Thank you, sir. Now, you go and change, eh? And join us for dinner. But, sir, Auntie Fanny said I should, I should never come to the dining table to eat. Sorry, sir. Well? I am saying that. Go and change. And then join us for dinner. Hmm? Bosa. Go and change. And then drop this for me. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. Sir. Okay, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Oh, go and change, sir. So thank God. Do you like the food? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> I finish your own food. <laughs> 
Madam the madam. Sit down and take your place as the woman of the house. Uh -huh. no, ma, no, ma. What is that? It, it's Uncle that said I should come to the dining table and eat, ma. Yes. I told her to join myself and the kids to eat at the table. What is wrong with that? That's how they start. That's how she wants to snatch my husband right under my nose. Faye, what is that? What? <laughs> Look, go inside. No, ma, please, Look, please, Faye, Faye, Faye. <laughs> Oga, oh well done, sir. Oga, oh I want to go to Bini. Your money now 10,000 naira. Yes, my mommy will pay you once we get Tell her, may she pay, send you the money, Jari. Come on for here, all this small sport girl. Come on for here, Joe. Where you come from? Come on for here, all this small sport girl. Come on for here. <laughs> You know they would not help you if you don't have any money. Where are you going to? I'm going to Benin. Benin? Yes. I'm also going to Benin. You know, I haven't seen my parents in about two years now. How long I really have can't... you been here? Six weeks. Six weeks? Well, we need money now. What are we going to do? Well, I think I'd rather stay here at the park than, than go back to my auntie's place. See, I'm very hungry. What are we going to eat now? I have just 15 naira. You can buy granules. Yes. Yes, yes, bye, Freedom, freedom for my way. Spotlight, pretty girls are broke. 
Man, I swear it's not right. I'm just trying to push. I'm in the zoo, working all night. The pressure's on my shoulders. Man, I know that it's not nice. I'm not giving up on my dream. It's crazy as it seems. I get upset on the streets. Don't know where to begin. I'm just trying to stay lit. Purify, I can't be deemed. Got my future in my hands like a dog to a list. Pray for freedom. Freedom for my way. Customer, it's okay. Anything else that you want? Just give me pepper soup. Just Only. That's the only thing that you want. I'm coming. What do you want? No, you cannot come here to beg. No, I did not come to beg. I saw the vacancy poster outside. They decided to come and apply, ma. We have already hired somebody. No vacancy. Please, ma. Please, ma. See, I can sweep. I can wash. I can do anything you want me to do. I would please, ma. Just give me this job, I'm ma. sorry. I cannot help you. Please, ma. Please, I need this job, ma. Please. You have to leave. You're making a cost. I'm Please, ma. Just, just try. Just give me this. Please, ma. Please, ma. Get out. Please, ma. Just do this for me. Get out. Please. Don't even annoy me. Get out. My customer. Oh. Good afternoon, Mom. How are you? Fine, Mom. Good afternoon, Ma. How are you? I'm fine, Ma. Who are you? Ma, I came to apply for the job here. And? She sent me away. Come with me to my office. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you, Ma. So, so I ran away. And since then, I've been going around begging people for food to eat and, and transport first so I can be able to go back home. How much is this transport fare to Benin? It's 10,000 Naira, ma. So what do you want? You want transport fare or you want a job? No, it's, it's the job I want, ma. I, I want to work and earn money so I can be able to go back. It's the job I want, ma. You know what I like about you? Thank you, ma. The fact that you would rather work for money than take handouts. Thank you, ma. Thank you very much, ma. Thank you, ma. So I'm going to give you a job. Ah, thank you very much, ma. Thank you very much. God bless you, ma. Sit down. It's okay. You can stay with the other girl. Thank you very much, okay. ma. Uh, Chiamaka, oh, good that you're here. Um... Um, have you noticed anything strange going on here? Like what? <laughs> you know, every month, some staff resign at the same time. And then boom, they disappear. And then the next month, new big mommy hires another set. And then they disappear again. What's so strange about that? People don't stay in the same place forever. See, I asked her why. She said she did not tell me anything. She, 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 she says she's not supposed to say anything to anybody. Me, I think there's more to this thing. You know you are not the only person who is working and saving to leave this place. I know, you are, you are right, sir. You are right. So, tell me. How much have you saved? Hmm. 20,000. <gasps> wow, that's good. Ah, so when are you leaving for Billy? Oh, I thought about it though, and it's not like there's anything waiting for me back home. So I'll just stick around, work a little bit, earn some money, and then go back to school. That's all. That makes sense. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, you just finished secondary school now. Mm -hmm. Which university are you going to? Well, don't tell anybody. Tell me something, do I look like I'm a girl? Don't tell. Big mommy promised to send me to a university abroad. I know, I'm so sorry. I'm proud. I know, I'm so sick. You are so lucky. Thank you. Abroad. Yes. 
Do you, wait, do you think she's sending other people to study abroad? Sir? I don't know. Lola! Level 5 has plenty of time. I'm coming! I'm coming! I'm coming! Darling, what do you mean, Ma? You look like you've seen a ghost. Ma is Auntie Chiamakao. I just saw her open a door. A secret door. I've not seen that door since I started walking here, Ma. Uh, and then I, I, I followed her. And then I saw... I saw... A club? Uh, yes, Ma. But you know people come here to drink and relax and have a good time. The men were to to touching the, the girls. Are you trying to tell me your boyfriend does not touch you in ways that you like? You think I don't see him come here every night to visit you? No, he's just my friend though. I don't, ha I don't have a boyfriend, ma. I've never had a boyfriend, ma. You mean you've never... Um... No! I'm a, I'm a virgin, ma. Ah, oh, okay. I understand. There's no need to get defensive. Mm. Zainab tells me you're saving money to go to school. Yes, ma. That means she must have told you she's going abroad to study. Yes, ma. I like you. You're smart. Look at me. Hardworking. Focused. Thank you, ma. You know, I've been thinking about sending you along abroad with Zainab to study. Uh, she could do with a friend and I think you'll be better off over there. Thank you, ma. Thank you, ma. I take you like the idea. I love it, ma. Thank you very much, ma. But, ma, I, I don't have a passport, ma. Oh, don't worry. You don't need a passport. You know I'm well connected. I have someone over there. They'll get your passport on arrival. Thank you, ma. God bless you, ma. Oh. So, what's the matter? Ma, it's my friend, Esosa. He's a very smart and hardworking boy, yo. He wants a job and he also wants to go back to the university, but... I think about it. But even if I'm unable to help, I've got friends who can easily afford him a scholarship. Thank you, ma. Thank you very much, ma. I mean, I'll ask him to come in later and ask, uh, apply for a job. Okay, ma. I will, ma. Okay, ma. Um, you must promise me something. That you will keep this a secret. And that when you graduate, you will come back and repay me for my kindness. No problem, ma. I promise, ma. No problem, ma. All right, well, I shall do. You shall do what you can, but I will be. Oh, my, we forgot about God. Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? Where are Oh, I do I love We are my body of Bolo di back on back on. Oh, 
Bodak badia ro sheni wa se jagbata mo mi Sheni wa se jagbata bu mi <laughs> Madam, it is done. Come back in three days' time. Nibitin Ben Tuba, Neba, is Baba, is Baye, or Melago Sakaogu. I love Problem, oh, Chiamaka. Abila is going to be waiting at the border, so take the other son. Go, all right? Everything is in order for them while I attend to this. Okay, big mommy. Um, sister Bimpe, and teacher okay. You didn't tell me you were coming. If you had picked your call, we will not be here. We've been calling you since now. You're not fighting now. Ah, Benny, I, I didn't see your call and um, maybe it was network. Mm. Okay, no problem. So. Where's my daughter? We've been trying her number for some time now, and it's not been going through. Um, oh, I took her phone. Uh -uh. You know how children these days can get easily distracted? Hey, but my daughter is not a child now. She's not a child. Oda, where is she? I, I sent her somewhere. Yeah, it's no problem. We'll wait now. Hey. We'll wait for her to come back. Um, shh. What is, are you all right? Uh, why are you, what's wrong with you? Why are you acting as if you want to faint? Eh? Um, she ran away two months ago. Baba, Feiyi, you are just telling us this, two months? We've been looking for her. Looking for who? She... Who ran away? Hey, sister. Who ran away? 
Hey. My daughter. Hey. What did you do to her? Ah. What? Face Ayo. Have you gone to the police? Have you gone to the police? Hey, Face Ayo. My, my own. So a whole human being. You. He said, God. You are looking for my child. She just suddenly went so she, one more. It's a lie. What did you do to her? Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me? Sister. Ah, sister, where are you going? Sister, pay your shirt. Sister, where are you going? I'm waiting. Clock's ticking. Please, can I have water? When you are ready to tell us where the girl is, then you have water. For now, swallow your speed. Where is she? I don't know. You want me to try something else? It's fine. The woman in the interrogation room is my wife. Ah, oh, I see. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, uh, officer. Arrest this man. Arrest this man. This man is an accomplice. Well, baby, madam, please, please, uh, oh, please put yourself together. Yes, sir. sir, his wife has refused to say anything as well. Give me a nisso. 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 Sorry, sir. Sir, her daughter ran away from the house. But I know where she is. Uh, you see, I'll go to the Madam, be warned. Yes, sir. Please, Mr. Rotimi. Go ahead. Tell us. Where can we find her? I saw her walking as a waitress in a restaurant, sir. Uh -huh. See? Yes, I'm sorry, sir. I went to her. I begged her. I asked her to follow me back home. But she refused. Sir, I can show you where the restaurant is. Hello, ma. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Mrs. Ademola. Shade is my daughter. I hear she works for you. Shade, lovely girl. Ah. Um, but um, unfortunately, she resigned a few weeks ago. We were sad to see her go. Very hardworking. You know, she was saving up for school. She got a better paying job, so I encouraged her to take it. Uh, where, where is the place she's working now? I honestly don't know. Uh, ah, please, ma. Please, we need your help. We need to find her, please. Did she at least say what kind of job it is? I, I, I didn't ask. <laughs> I, I wish I could help you. No, please, you have to help us, please. Anything at all, just any, any lead, anything. We need to find her, please. There's nothing I can do. I wish there was. Uh, okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Stand with me, but we'll find that stuff. Find that, please. Find that stuff. Stop, please. Ah, Chiamaka. Ah, hello? Hello, big mommy. Chiamaka, where are you guys now? Oh, that's good. So that means by tomorrow they will be passing through the Sahara Desert. Yes. Then Libya is two days if there's no stop. And the ones going to Italy should arrive by weekend. Just Great. You know what? Get on the very next flight back to Lagos. I don't think my daughter is safe. Sir, please, we want you to help us treat this as a missing person's case. Please. Well, it may be difficult to find her, but uh, we'll do our best. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So, um, you are the one who brought this girl to live with this uh, Bamidele family? Yes, sir, it was me. Sir, they said that when she ran away, that she went to work for one restaurant. Yes. The Big Mommy. Big Mommy. Yes, and, and when we went there, the owner of the restaurant, that's Big Mommy, said that she had resigned some few weeks ago. 
to go and start working somewhere else. Did she tell you where? No, sir. The, 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 the big mommy said that she did not ask her, so she doesn't know. Okay. We'll take it up from here and um, we'll keep you informed. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. This is Emma. She is one of the girls we rescued recently from mm. Libya. And she may have valuable information that we might use. Mm. Welcome back home. We are glad to have you back home. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. How are you? Okay. How did, how did Libya happen and all of that? Last year, Big Mommy told me and some girls and boys that she opened a new restaurant abroad and she wanted us to go there and work. We were all happy. But before we left, she took us to Babalao and she said we should swear we will not tell anybody. I suspected something was wrong. But I was scared, so I obeyed. We all thought we would travel in an aeroplane, but Auntie Chi and Maka took us to Kano. And then she handed us to some men. We went through Niger and through the desert before we got to Libya. And then those men handed us into prostitution. They all forced us. Then I knew that big mommy lied to us. There was no restaurant. She lied to us. It was later I realized the MRC. That's a migrant resource center. Yes. That were victims of human trafficking through irregular migration. They even told us that they had better opportunities in Nigeria than even in Libra. Mm -hmm. But now I'm okay. I'm glad. I'm glad you're back with your family. Mm -hmm. Amen. Your past does not define you. Okay? You're brave. You're strong. Thank you for sharing your story with us. Thank you. Okay? Okay. I just got a text from our informant. Okay. Take a look. With MM's testimony and this, we have her. Yes. I will deploy a team right away to monitor the activities around the premises for the next few days. We need to catch her red handed. I must talk to the IOM office in Libya to know if they can help us with those that are willing to return and reunite them with their family. Especially the Fola Shade family, they are very, very devastated. I'll get my team ready on that. Okay, yeah. good work. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Amen. Okay. Big mommy, we're ready. Oh, Chiamaka, you're such a good girl. Stop there. <laughs> Madam, you're under arrest for human trafficking. Madam, you have the right to remain silent as whatever you say will be used against you in the court of law. Officer, arrest her. Misunderstand oh. You have the right to remain silent, madam. Big <laughs> mommy. I say you have the right to remain silent. All right. So there are many indicators to know if you're being tricked into human trafficking. One of them is if you're not asked to provide your Nigerian passport or travel passport. So the very first step to traveling out of the country is to get a valid Nigerian passport from the Nigerian Immigration Service. Afterwards, 
you apply for a visa at the embassy of the country that you want to visit. Okay? So in order to lay more emphasis on all of this, I would like to introduce one of IOM's officials who has helped us accomplish all of this and more. Ladies and gentlemen, a resounding round of applause for Mr. Galish. Thank you so much. Thank you. We encourage the youth to open their eyes to the diverse opportunity within the country and seize them. But if you must travel, remember that migration is your right. So do it right. Contact the MRC to get all the information you need before you travel. We have few survivors of irregular migration here with us who have volunteered to share their stories. Give it up for, for Lasha Day and Esosa. My dream has always been to study the university. But when my daddy died, things did not go as planned. I had to work as a maid in another state. They maltreated me so much that I ran away and became a beggar. I felt so lucky when I got a job as a waitress to work at a popular restaurant, which unknown to me was a trafficking ring. My friend and I were tricked into Libya, where we were forced into modern day slavery and, and sex trafficking. I never thought I was going to come back home. I had lost all hopes. I already resolved to fate. On this fateful night, the police came and raided the establishment to rescue us. That was when the journey of coming back home began. It was in the course of this I found out about the IOM, the International Organization for Migration, the United Nations Agency that ensures safe orderly and humane management of migration of people from one country to another. I wish I knew them before now, but it is said it's better late than never. The police rescued us and the IOM made sure that they had our consent before bringing us back home. Back home? I was so depressed. I felt lost. But not tip. The National Agency for Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons provided medical assistance and sent us to the rehabilitation centers where we got guidance and counseling. They even introduced us to some of their empowerment programs like tailoring, baking, and some other vocational programs. With the new skill I've learned, I can work, earn money, and even have enough and fulfill my dream of going back to the university. I want to say a very big thank you to NEFMI, MRC, IOM, and NAPTIP for rescuing us and reinstating us back into the society and uniting me with my family. Remember, migration, migration is your right. right. So do please it. do it right. Do it right.